Have you ever wanted to amaze a friend by telling him or her the day of the week they were born just by knowing their date of birth? If yes, then that is exactly what we are going to learn in this video. So let's begin. Hello geniuses, finding the day from the date. I have already made a video on this then why am I doing it again? The reason is that in that video the method I taught needed to memorize a lot of different kinds of stuff which we will normally forget in a month if we don't use that on a regular basis. So does that mean that method was useless? No that method was made for speed and the method that I am going to show you in this video is a little bit slow sometimes require paper too but if you learn it once you will remember it till the rest of your lives. So let's begin by understanding what is a leap year. What is a leap year? A uh, year divisible by 4 most people answer this but there is also another condition a uh, year should be divisible by 4 okay. But if that air is in hundreds, then it should be divisible by 402 to be a leap year. So 1800 is not a leap year, 1600 is a leap year. Okay, now the method that I'm gonna teach you boils down to doing a really simple thing that is finding the number of odd days. Now what is this odd day thing? See it is extremely simple. The calendar that we use is the Gregorian calendar and it started with the Sunday. Okay clear. So for any date from that day we can calculate how many whole weeks were passed like 77777 7, 7, 7, 7, and then how many extra days are passed and those extra days are the days of the weeks. Okay, so that is called the odd days. So simply odd day is the number from 0 to 6. So if 0 odd days are passed for a certain date, then on that certain date it is a Sunday. Okay, and for example if 4 odd days are passed, then it is a Thursday. Okay, so it is simple. We are just starting from Sunday and calculating all the way till that day and seeing how many odd days are passed and that odd day number gives us the day of the week as simple as that. Okay, so I have a question for you. Calculate the odd days for one year. That is 365 days. See, divide by 7 as simple as that and see remainder. Remainder is 1. So one odd day. This means that, for example, on a certain date on this year, it is a Monday. On that same certain date on the next year, it will be a Tuesday. So there is a difference of one extra day. So this was for a normal year. What happens for a leap year? 366 days divide by 7, remainder is 2. So there is a lead of 2 days whenever a leap year passes. So you have to remember this, whenever a year passes, one odd day and whenever a leap year passes two odd days as simple as that. So with this information tell me the odd days when 100 year passes. It is extremely simple to do. See we need to find how many leap year passes and how many normal year passes. From there calculate their odd days and then so on we will get our answer. Let us do it. See 100 divided by 4 we get 25 and remainder 0. So 25 leap years are there in a 100 year right? No. 100 is not a leap year. It should be divisible by 402 which is not. Okay, so there are 24 leap years in 100 year and 76 normal years. So with this we have 48 odd days from leap year because every leap year have 2 odd days and 76 odd days from normal years. Now we will simply add this we will get 124, so 124 odd days. Now the odd day number should be 0 to 6, okay? So whenever there is more, divide by 7 because these days are also making up weeks, okay? So they together come up and neutralize that lag. So that is why we are dividing it by 7, we get a remainder of 5. So whenever a 100 year passes, we get a lead or we can also say a lag of 5 days okay so for 100 year we have 5 odd days for 200 years see it is extremely simple for 100 years we have 5 for 200 years another 5 so 10 which is bigger than 6 divide by 7 we get a remainder of 3 so for every 200 year we have 3 odd days now for 
300 here similarly 15 divided by 7 remainder 1 1 or day now tell me for 400 years simple 20 divided by 7 we get a remainder of 6 so 6 or days no it is wrong because see in calculating for 100, 200, 300, we didn't consider them as leap year, but we have to consider 400 as a leap year. So 21 odd days because that leap year will give one extra odd day. So 21 odd days and 21 divided by 7 with a remainder of 0. That means 0 odd days. So this gives us an extremely important information that is the Gregorian calendar resets every 400 years so normally we get dates in 1800s 1900s etc so we will start from 1600 because on 1600 the gregorian calendar reset okay so we won't start from one date of gregorian calendar we will start from 1600 year and then go to our date to find the day of the week okay and remember for finding odd days we divide by 7 and check for remainder for finding leap years we divide by 4 and look at the quotient and also keep in mind that other condition of leap year too now let's solve a question on this tell me the day of the week on 4 january 1643 this is the date of birth of sir isaac newton according to the gregorian calendar on internet you will find another date too that is from julian calendar and we work with only gregorian calendar okay so see till 1600 there are zero odd days okay now we have to find for 43 years and it is 4 january 1643 so that 43th year is not yet passed okay so we will find the odd days till 31 december 1642 and then we will account for 4 january as clear so for 42 years how many leap years are there and how many normal years are there so divide it by 4 we get 10 leap years and 42 minus 10 that means 32 normal years for every leap year we have two odd days so 20 odd days plus 32 odd days add this up we get 52 divided by 7 we get a remainder of 3 okay so 3 odd days till 31 december 1642 now till 4 january we have 4 extra odd days because this is less than 7 so 4 days will count for 4 odd days so 3 plus 4 is 7 so 7 is bigger than 6 divide by 7 a remainder of 0 that means on the date of birth of newton it was a sunday as simple as that now let's calculate for 22 december 1887 this is the date of birth of sri nivasana ramanujan okay we can do this with two different ways and you will learn two different techniques which are extremely important so the second way is what i do not prefer but in that there are some important techniques so for this what we can do is this see we can find the old days till 31 December 1887 and go back 9 days as simple as that so for 1887 see 1600 0 odd day we have 200 more years so 3 odd days now we have to go till 87 okay so divide it by 4 with this we get 21 leap years and 66 normal years from this we get 42 odd days from leap years and 66 odd days from normal years add them up we get 108 divided by 7 to get a remainder of 3 so till 31 december 1887 we have 0 from 1600 3 from 200 years and from 1887 we get 3 more so 6 so that means on 31 december 1887 we had a saturday so now from 31 december to 22 december we have to go back nine days we can do this in a more easy way you can also go back like this by just saying out the names or you can do like this see nine days okay divided by seven so how many odd days simple two so this simply means that we have counted two extra odd days so subtract 2 from 6 so 6 minus 2 4 that means on the birthday of Srinivasana Ramanujan it was a 
थर्स्ट डे एंड द सेकेंड वे इज दिस वी कैन काउंट द ओल्ड डेज टिल थर्टी वन दिसंबर एटीन एटी सिक्स एंड देन मंथ बाय मंथ बाय मंथ वी कैन काउंट द ओल्ड डेज एंड गो टिल ट्वेंटी टू दिसंबर एटीन एटी सेवन लेट्स टू इट इट इज एक्सट्रीमली सिंपल टिल एटीन एटी सिक्स सी टिल सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड जीरो ओल्ड डेज टू हंड्रेड मोर ईयर्स थ्री ओल्ड डेज नाउ फॉर एटी सिक्स आई एम श्योर नाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द ओल्ड डेज द ओल्ड डेज फॉर एटी सिक्स ईयर्स इज टू This is an exercise that you can do. You will get two odd days for 86 years. Okay. Now we have to go month by month by month to our required date. So first January. We have 31 days in January. So San Fors are 28. So we have three odd days. Now in February it is 1887, right? Not a leap year. So we have 28 days. That means zero odd days. For March we have three odd days. For April we have two odd days. and so on we calculate till november and then for december it is 22 divided by 7 we get one odd day add these all up we get 32 divided by 7 and we get a remainder of 4 so it was a thursday on the birthday of shri navasan ramanujan which we also calculated with the previous method too so i hope now you have learned this method and now you can calculate the day of the week for any date I will give you a date calculate it for 22 July 1999 which is my date of birth okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything